let's start and talk about this bone. So this, this is a very uniquely shaped bone, as you can already tell, and this is the clavicle. So let's have a look. So when we're trying to learn bones, it's really important to figure out what's up, what's down, what's medial, what's lateral. So as I start to notice, this bone has a bit of an S shape to it. Right, so it's, it's very unique in its shape. So nothing else you can really mistake for the clavicle. Now we've got to figure out what is top and what is bottom. Well, this is the top. Now how do I know that? Because if I flip it over, and you've got to look very carefully, you can see there is a groove here. That is the groove that is underneath here, and we'll start to give some names. Now, let's always, let, I always try and look for differences. So the other thing that we notice is that there's a very horizontal, because we know that's top, that's bottom. This is a horizontally flat part, and this is a vertically flat part. So there's two ends that actually look different when you start to notice them. Now, this would be the end that attaches to the sternum. So the flat vertical bit attaches to the sternum, whereas this flattened horizontal part is associated with part of the scapula. Now let's go back to our model. So here we are looking at our model again and here we can see the scapula. This is the posterior aspect of the scapula. Here is that clavicle and you can see there's that flat part of the clavicle and you can see here which is the sternal end we can see that that is quite horizontal and that's the part that will basically interact with the sternum.